Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's Andrea here, and this is a colouring related video, as you can tell. So, a few people, including the lovely Jen over at Reading at Perks, has uh, requested uh, that they'd like to see um, some of the completed colouring pages I've done. So, I'm going to show you all the ones I've done so far, pretty much. Um, there's a lot because I've never done one of these overviews of all the colouring pages before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then I'll do another one in a few months time <coughs> but I'll actually then show you them in the order that I completed them, I'll number them. I don't always number them, I don't always date them. Um, I will start doing that from now on. So uh, that will probably be with my um, anything from November onwards and then in a few months we'll we'll do another overview we'll see how long this video is and then we'll see what we'll do every 10 colouring pages or every 20 colouring pages so this is Under the Sea um, this one was as you see very cheap got it in uh, the works which is a shop over here in the UK that sells uh, very cheap books and crafts and stationery items and they do have a lovely selection of colouring books and this is one I got from there and I bought one from my friend Anne Harrod as well so I've only done one picture. Most of these books I've only done one picture in. There are a couple I've done more. Uh, so I'm going to take these little pages out as we go so I'm, and save them up. Um, so here is the first one, which is the jellyfish. And it's a double page spread. And I, you can't probably see it, but the lips of the jellyfish are red stickles. And there are stickles in the bubbles as well. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it shining in certain places. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. So that one took quite a while because I think it's very big and I used up all of my, most of my salmon prism colour on this one. It used up loads. So that one was from Under the Sea. Next we have the Doctor Who colouring book. I am a major Doctor Who fan and I have been since the 80s when because I'm old. And uh, so I, there's another Doctor Who colouring book. I have to get it. I, I have to have it. I love Doctor Who. So anyway, so one of my favourite um, enemies in, or baddies, in the Doctor Who series at the moment is um, the Weeping Angels. So the first one I did was this picture of the Weeping Angels, as you can see. And um, I think I used, yeah, I used Prismacolors and uh, Pebble Chalks on the background. So, yay! So that's that one. Next is Johanna Bassett's Secret Garden. I've only done, again, one picture in this, which is this, again, it's a double page spread of the sort of summer house and the, the gates. I loved this picture. This took a good while to do. Um, because I put shadows underneath the tables and highlights on the pots and things. And this was a mixture of Colour Soft and Prisma Colours, if I remember correctly. I love colouring books. I have more colouring books coming. Well, I've got one arriving today. I've got one the other day. Um, and I've got one in my cart because I get paid next week. So I will be ordering some colouring books next week. It's naughty, I know. But Christmas is coming, so we need more Christmas books. I only have two, and this is one of them. So this is Johanna Bassford's Christmas. Um, obviously, I did some of this for the Christmas in July. Now, they did four pictures for Christmas in July. I only did three. So I did the gingerbread house again. Now this was all done with Duent um, either ink tents or the metallics, the watercolour metallics. So, and they're stickles. I you see these little, this is stickles, snowdrops. Snowing, snowing, snowing glitter in my world, that's what I'm going to say. And then we did the nutcrackers. Um, this was done with my, I think this is a combination of, no, this was done with gel pens, um, not glitter gel pens. In fact, there's no glitter on here at all. There might be some glitter. Uh, yeah, the, the, the purple and yeah, it is mostly glitter gel pens. Um, and they were really cheap. There was like 50 of them or 40 of them for five quid in, in uh, Hobbycraft. Again, a British company. So you have like, uh, Places like Dick Blick, we have Hobbycraft and it's all craft supplies. Um, I haven't been there for a while, so when I get paid, I might have to make a little journey, see what they've got coming up for Christmas. And I also did the sled, 
which I love. And again, this was done with mostly the ink tents and the metallics along with stickles. Again, I got I got snow, glittery snow, because it snows glitter in my world. <laughs> it's got to I don't have enough stickles. I think I might have to order some more stickles when I get paid as well. Um I haven't got enough stickles in my life, obviously. I do have some other glitter pens as well though. I don't just have the stickles. Then we've got Eerie's Romantic Country Volume 1. I only have Volume 1. There are just so many colouring books I want. And I've got just over 60, I think. And I've still got a good 20 or 30 of them that I haven't actually used. Multi me. <laughs> but then aren't we all the same? Especially with the Genabler. She enables us to buy lots of books. And so does Grace and Anne. And oh, I mean, Anne's been using those feeler pencils which are budget supplies and I've been watching those videos and they go, they seem to go on really, really nice. And I've looked on Amazon UK and they are 28 pound, 29 pound at the moment, so less than 30 pound for 150 pencils. I'm quite tempted to get myself some of those. Obviously I've got to be careful because I'm having a baby in March, in February and um, I need to buy baby stuff as well, so. But then Paul pays for half the baby stuff because it's his baby too, not just mine. So in Romantic Country, I have done, oops, this one with the deck on it. I think this was part of a colour along with, I'm not sure who it was with now, um, but this is mostly Prismacolors, um, but I've also used the Koinors Tritones here. I've only got the two, two, two of the Tritones. They're quite expensive here in the UK. Like the 24 set is 48 pounds, which is a lot of money for 24 pencils. I do want them though, because I like them. So I bought the ones for the bricks. And I've also done the girl walking up the path to the witch's cottage or the disappearing cottage or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I enjoy doing that. I like the little duck. So cute. Next is Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. I love Hannah Carlson's books. I've only got Summer Nights and Magical Dawn and I haven't done that many pictures in them. Um, Summer Nights has done two, which is the, the pocket watch. Again, this was done with the glitter gel pens. I really like the glitter gel pens, as you can tell. And this one of the girl blowing the I suppose it would be like a dandelion clock thing. And again, this was the, I want to say Prismacolors and Pebbles Chalks for the background. I actually really quite like my Pebbles Chalks. I haven't used them for a while. I will be using them soon. You will see that, I'm sure. Next, we've got another Hannah Carlson book. We've got Magical Dawn. I only finished this one the other night. I was in a colouring mood and I was watching Anne a colourful life. Uh, so I thought I'm going to finish these, uh, this old picture that I've got going. I had two pictures on the go and I wanted to finish them both and I did. So I can start something new. So I like this, this lady with her lovely flowers. This was a mixture of Prismacolors and Dewent Color, Color Softs. I do love both of those. I, I love my Color Softs. I'm only six short of the complete set now, so I'll be getting more of those this month. Then, of course, there's Star Wars, which we did for Star Wars Day on May the 4th. Gosh, it seems like so long ago. I wasn't even pregnant then. <laughs> seems like a long time ago. So this is the Star Wars book, and I did Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. And this was done with Prismacolors, I believe. And... Posca pens, a silver, a gold, and a black Posca pen. That's the only one I've done. Paul did one. I don't know where Paul's is. I can find Paul's. No, I don't think it's that like that. Because he's not big into colouring, but he did say it did relax him, and he did forget what he was um, stressing about throughout the day. I think he did C3PO. Yeah, C3PO. But I don't know where it is. I can't find it. And he used my Prismas. Perhaps it's 
before this one then. Hmm, must be. Yeah, there it is. That's the one that Paul did, C-3PO. And he really enjoyed it. Another one I bought from the works, as you can see it was only £3, was the Kaleidoscope books. This is set by Seven Oaks Publishing. Um, yeah, this is okay. I'm not big on kaleidoscopes and mandalas, but um, I bought it because it was cheap. I thought, why not? And I did this with uh, four different colours Sharpies. Now, the Sharpies do go through onto the previous page, but I'm not likely to do something like that anyway because it's just too much for me. And <laughs> I did that one in very bright colours. It's enough to make your eyes go funny. But I'm not big on these. I just thought it'd be something different to, when I don't fancy doing a, a complicated picture. We're on to the Jade Summer Books now. Now there's quite a lot of Jade Summer Books. You'll notice that. Same as I've got, I like Selena Fennec and I like Jade Summer. So the first one is Grimm's Fairy Tales. And again, I've only done one in this one. And that's the title page for Cinderella, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, there's lots of glitter on this one. See, you can see it's sparkling, sparkly. So that's nice. <laughs> That one, I like that one. That was that, God, that was done back in May. May. <laughs> I I gotta be honest because I've not been feeling it well. I haven't done much colouring or much reading lately. The reading's picking up, and I, again colouring starting too. So this is another uh, Jade Summer book. This is Angels. I've only done one in this book. So you tell that is my mantra: do one, leave the book, and. This one, I like this one. I thought I'd do her all purple with blue and sort of like wavies in the background and gold stars. So again, this was Prismas and Posca Pen, I think. Or possibly, no, possibly just all Prismas actually looking at it. No, just the Prismas. I do like colouring in, in women. I love them. But I like that one. So that's, that's Jade Summer uh, uh, Angels. And then we've got Jade Summer's. Jade Summer Delicious Delirts. This is it. like this was the first Jade Summer book I got, and I've only again I've only done one picture in it, and it's this one of here of the little little tea party, and there's some glitter. You can see it glittering. There's, you've got to have glitter on cakes, in my opinion. Excuse me, hiccup in. I've just had my lunch. So I really that one took quite a while to do, and I really really enjoyed doing it. Um, I love this book. I can't wait to get and do some more cakes. <laughs> it makes me hungry. Uh, again, Jade Summer is the Vampire's book. I did this one as part of Grace's Colour Along, along with the Cinderella one. Again, only one done in this book. And that was these two. I met, wanted to make him look a bit different. I thought, I think the vampires in this book are too clean cut. They're all too... They're all too twilight for my liking. I like my, I mean, he's got good muscles, man, don't get me wrong. But um, I imagine my vampires to be sort of like Richard Armitage in Robin Hood. And uh, so if you don't know who that is, if you just go and Google Richard Armitage, Robin Hood, he played Guy of Gisborne. <sighs> yeah, okay, enough of that nonsense before we start off on that. Oh yeah, uh, that's how I want my vampires to be. Richard Armitage, eh? eh? <laughs> uh, Under the Sea, again, this is Jade Summer. She is so prolific, it's unreal. This is another one that I finished the other night. I'd had it on the go for a long time. And I thought, I've got to finish this, and I've got to finish this off, and I was watching um, Anne over at Colourful Life. Hi, Anne. And thought I would do this one. I uh, thought I'd finish it off, and this is the treasure chest. Now, there's no glitter on this one. This is Prismacolor and uh, Derwent Colour Softs. And I put a light layer of blue over the entire page because it's underwater, so the sand wouldn't be yellow. It would be a sort of darky colour, bluey, yellowy colour. So I just put just just to make it look a bit more like it was underwater. That's just me trying to be artistic and failing badly. But there you go. Now we're on to my next favourite artist in the book. So far away, I'm gonna have to move and get them. And this is obviously Selena Fennec. Ooh, there we are. That's how we can reach them. Uh, so this is uh, from the Mythical Mermaids book. Again, I've only done one in this one. 
it's a bit of a habit only doing one picture but uh, this one is the one I did and this one is Sea of Roses um, I was really proud of this at the time it was quite a while ago I did this one um, this was done using my Faber Castells and a bit of Derwent because um, they've got some metallic ones which I use on the tail and the scales but the skin could be better I am um, I would hopefully do the skin better now and then we've got I've forgotten the book I'm just gonna go and get it it's only over the room uh, Selena Fennett's got a uh, gothic I love this book, I've done two in this book. <laughs> Amazingly, she's done more than one picture, woo! Uh, so let's have a look. So the first one I did one was Autumn in Lace, and again, the skin colours could be better, but that was when I first started, this was one of the early ones I did. And you can see the difference on the next one, which is Raven's Call, cool. and the skin colours are slightly darker, slightly more, natural looking. I thought this one looked like um, Rose McGowan in Charmed when she was Paige. Especially when I did the, the lips that colour, it looked very much like Paige. <laughs> but there you go. And the last Selena Fennec book, although I have got more upstairs that I haven't used at all, is Goddess. Now I love this book. Goddess and Mythology colouring book. Again I've only done one, but I do like this book. I love this book. And I did a uh, Coventina, which is the goddess of wells and springs. So this was, I think, Dewent and Prisma's mixed because I wanted to make this look almost like Bath sandstone, as if she was at Bath Springs, at you know, in in Somerset. Because to me that would make sense because that's how I logically think. So that's that one. I do like that one. She's quite pale, but I, I think she looks right pale and with the silver and black hair. I, I like that. Then we have Terry Pratchett's Discworld. Again, as you know, as much as I love Doctor Who, I'm also a huge Terry Pratchett Discworld fan. I have all the Discworld novels. And I bought this from the Discworld Emporium, which is a shop, an online shop. So if you're interested, just go Google Discworld Emporium. It'll come up. I've only done the cover page for this. <laughs> it took me so long. I think I'm afraid of this colour book, colouring book more than any other because I love the artwork so much. I'm terrified of ruining it, but I will, I will do some more in it soon. Another artist I like, but I've only got one of her books, is Molly Harrison. Again, because she does these fairies and lovely, beautiful, pretty women. Um, so this is the Fairyland one. I thought I did two in this, but it looks like I've only done the one. So I'll probably find another one in it another time, and that was that one. Now you can't really see it when it's so far out, but um, you've got the column in the background. See the red streaks going through it? That's mar it's to make it look like marble. That's why Mark made it look mar more marble than it was. But uh, I'm sure I did another one in there, but I can't find it. So if I find it, I'll show you in the next round. So now we're getting near the end now. Hooray! The next one is the Zen Masters, a fabulous 50s colouring book. Again, I love the 50s. Uh, the only one again I've done is the jukebox. If you if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't posted for a while, but this is on my Instagram, this rock and roll one. With the gradating red through to yellow, through to back to red and so on. I love doing this, it took me for ages to do it. But I really enjoyed it. <laughs> We're scared though, I promise we are getting there. This one is the Zen Masters Totally Bodacious 80s colouring book, because again, it's the 80s! And I love the 80s as well, because I grew up in the 80s. And the only one I've done from this is this one. Now I actually saw the actual photograph of this picture. It is actually um, a photograph somewhere the other day, I can't remember where it was. And I was like, oh, I've coloured that picture in. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got all the lovely 80s neon colours. Again, I used the Koinoi Tritones on the back. Uh, 
and my uh, neon pencils that I bought from um, Office World, whatever it's called, used to be Staples. And I put like highlight colours in their hair. I like that. I love the 80s. Next one is The Green Lady's Cottage Colouring Book by Gwen Davis. Um, if you saw this in the supplies haul or the unboxing or whatever I did, I did do a feature on it. Gwen Davis is um, was a friend of Paul's. Uh, he went to school there. Um, and he got me these uh, for Easter instead of Easter eggs because we were trying not to eat so much chocolate. That hasn't worked, but there you go. Again, I've only done one from this and that was the actual Green Lady. And there we are. She has glitter as well. As you can see, as I move the page around, you can see the glitter. Um, yeah, so the Green Lady, you're going to do it green. And she sort of like... I like that. I love the pictures in this book. But again, I've only done one. And we got the Green Ladies Zen Mandala colouring book again by Gwen Davis. And again, I've only done one. Because like I said, mandalas and patterns are not my thing. But every now and again, when I don't feel like concentrating on a, a person or uh, something like that, it's perfect to just do, get a pattern. It doesn't matter what happens with it. And this one I did use in my glitter gel pens. I haven't done a background for it because I didn't know what to do. So I thought I'd just leave it white. <laughs> the next one I might do a background for. You never know. But yeah, so that's that one. Another one of my interests is Ancient Egypt. I'm going to zoom in because this is a little book. So this is the Egypt colouring book for adults. I do have another Egypt book which is by Jade Summer. Again, I haven't used it. And I've only done one picture and this was this one. Which is based on the death mask of Tutankhamun, as you can see. That took quite a while to do as well with the different blues and golds and yellows. Uh, but I, I, I enjoyed that. Anything Egyptian. As you know, I'm also into the theatre. So the next one is Escape to Shakespeare's World by Good Wives and Warriors. Again, I've only done the one in here and that's uh, the Romeo and Juliet stage. Two households, both alike in dignity and fair Verona where we lay our scene. That took forever. It is so intricate. There is so much in it with other things on the curtains and the proscenium arch. Oh, yeah, that was that took a lot of work to do. That's probably why I haven't done anything else in this book, even though I love it. And I do have another two of the books by these people because I think they're fantastic, Good Wives and Warriors. And next we have the Colour and My Enormous Garden, 50 Designs to Help You De-Stress. This is one of those books where you can fill in things as well, which I don't do. I'm not an artist, I like colouring. And I've just done this little tree, no background. But I did put some grass at the bottom with some orange and yellow, which is supposed to be the leaves that have fallen off the tree. But that, that's it, that's all I've done in that one. Then we got uh, <coughs> Happiness and Contentment Colour in and Relax. I've only done one in this, this is one I did the other night. So I decided I was going to colour. And just a rose, no background, just didn't want to do a background. Um, so it was a rose and some plants surrounding it. And I just, I just finished reading The Dark Tower by Stephen King. Overview of the entire series coming at some point. Might even be up before this one, you never know with me. Um, and I, the rose just struck me as very dark tower-ish. So I thought I'd do the rose because of The Dark Tower. <laughs> So Paul's mum gave me this one colouring book for Easter, again, because I didn't want Easter eggs. And this one, this is the last but one, and then I have to zoom out because the next one's a massive book. You know which one that is then, don't you? Oh yeah. Um, this is from Colour Relax Flower and Dreams. These were actually on sale in a budget supermarket in the UK called Lidl's, or Lidl. And I just did the one that was on the cover, like so. And it's really pretty. Now this was done with the um, the Faber Castells or the Marco Ruffines, Marco Ruffines I think, yeah Marco Ruffines. So you can get good results with the Marcos, um, cheap ones, it's just because they, they're a very hard pencil and it, it just got, this seems to go better on this. The other one was done with um, Prismacolors and it, was, it didn't go on as well so I think for this type of paper which is quite shiny yeah, it's quite 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 shiny smooth and um, you're better off using a harder pencil so I might even try my Tombow Erodotons in this book 
because uh, obviously they're quite a very hard pencil. Now, I need to zoom out for the next one. She says that she scratches half the surface off the table. The last book is Nicholas uh, Filbert's Serene. I can zoom, see how much I need to zoom in. Now, I did, you, I've shown this in my supply haul because I finally finished, um, what was it called? Let me just have a look. Pick the names are on the backs. It's Sun. So I finally finished Sun. And this was done with the Touch 5 markers only, nothing else. Um, so, I'm actually really proud of this. First time I've ever used Touch 5 markers. Again, this was a book that completely intimidated me. If you look at how beautiful the artwork is, it's just a stunning book. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm, I'm really proud of that. That one. I'm lucky to have, I know how lucky I am to have this book. I'm really grateful that I've got it. Now this video is nearly 30 minutes long. It's 27 minutes long. So I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the colouring pages I have completed soon. There will be more colouring chats coming. There will be more supply hauls as well as my normal book stuff. And um, I think I'll probably do it every 15 to 20 pages that I colour. Or every two months or so. It depends. Um, so if you've really enjoyed this, let me know if you want to see any more. And then when I've got some more, I will do another video. Don't forget to leave me a comment, tell me what you're colouring, um, what supplies do you recommend? Remember, I am in the UK, so certain things I can't get hold of. Um, what colouring books should I be getting? After you've seen what I like to colour, what should I get next? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!